Is it? Is it? Is anyone else in there? She's the last one. Bob, you've got to jump. Some dramatic video of a fire rescue in downtown Butler as police pull a woman from a burning building. The woman calls them her guardian angels. News Channel 15 Sarah Schaefer has the heroic story of everyone helping save lives in that fire last month. Well, Brett and Heather, because the fire department in Butler is all volunteer, the police department is often first on scene. This time, officers had to act fast. Keep going, Jim. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Flames quickly approaching. Butler Police Chief James Nichols rushes to save an unconscious woman hanging out of a window. And there really wasn't time to think. There was only time to react. She was about 20 to 25 feet off the ground. They managed to stack an old wooden ladder on top of a trailer they pushed against the building. Officer Adam Watts holding on below. It was very intense scary. Before Chief Nichols got there, Watts and the other people who had already gotten out helped two people jump from the window. Just kind of reaffirmed to me that in this job you can be like I was, just sitting there watching traffic and 30 seconds later you're staring up at a building completely on fire and people are trying to jump out of it. After Barbara Minette, the last one inside, threw her dog out to her family, she passed out. By this time, the chief was there, and he and Watts came to her rescue. Very much. You're very much welcome. <laughs> she didn't remember anything, seeing the video showed her what happened. I just started crying. I was so thankful that the chief was there and did what he did to save my life, because if it wasn't for him, I would not be here today. My kids would be putting me away. It was a miracle. Uh, it really was. This is, was probably one of the most intense things I've ever been involved in and I've been shot at in this job twice. Everyone made it out okay and now they all look back at January 30th while still recovering. A life-changing day for everyone who helped and a day that brought them all together. I owe so much to you too. Barbara and her family are living with other family members right now, and everyone, including the officers, spent time in the hospital, but they're all starting to feel better. The cause of the fire was determined unknown, and the building will be taken down in the future. Live in Studio 15, Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.